Soon, Operation Desert Shield and Operation Desert Storm, Iraqi freedom, enduring freedom, and the war on terrorism will be memorialized at Old Glory. But first, the organization building the memorial needs your help. ABC 7's Katie Frazier joins us to share how you can make the memorial come to life. The Persian Gulf operations are the only operations not memorialized here at Old Glory, and one local organization wants to change that. There's a lot of people in El Paso that have fought wars and that were in the Persian Gulf area. This is our way to say thank you. Education is key for the proposed memorial. This information is not taught in schools. The kids have no idea you know, what granddad did or what grandma did. If I can bring my grandchildren to the memorial, I can say this is what I did during Operation Iraqi Freedom. The memorial will not only serve to educate generations to come, but also as a healing place for those who have survived and those who have passed on. Somebody thinks the worst thing they've ever seen in their life, multiply that by a thousand and you're still not close to seeing what some of us have seen. Healing. There's a lot of us that need to heal. Mike Baker was an aircraft mechanic. And in the Air Force, aircraft mechanics generally don't get shot at, but our friends do. And for people like me that uh, have survivor's guilt, because I retired in 2001, and you know, the right after I retired, nine friends of mine died. For people like Baker, a memorial like this would be significant. It means a lot to me individually, having lost nine friends. And it's, it's just a healing process. This, this is what this has been to me, is a healing process. We can't forget the people that serve. The organization is constantly trying to raise funds, but is not quite there yet. We're about $10,000 short of accomplishing this goal right now, and we really need the support of the community and the businesses of El Paso to, to help pull this off. If you want to donate here at Old Glory Memorial, make sure you write it is for the Persian Gulf Memorial and put it right in here. Or if you want to donate online, you should find this story on KVIA.com. Katie Frazier, ABC7.